Say, right, this graphic heavy interface is allowing a non engineering person to develop that quote and get it out the door in the space of about five, 10 minutes. Welcome to an MTD Technical Corner. Now, today we're talking about dealing with the inefficiencies in running a sheet metal shop using a piece of software called Raydan from Hexagon, uh, from yourselves. Now, Liam, a sheet metal shop has a lot of different machinery. You've got uh, press brakes, you've got lasers, plasmas, routers. I don't know much personally about sheet metal, uh, running a sheet metal shop, but first of all, if you imagine someone who's got a laser and maybe a press break, why wouldn't they want to program all of their operations on those machine controls? Because surely that's the best place to do it, right? So the machines do typically have the capability of programming on the machine, but over the last sort of 10 years or so, machines have got significantly faster. So whereas 10 years ago, if you were cutting a piece of say three millimeter mild steel, you'd be cutting that about one meter a minute. Now you can cut that to say 10 meters a minute, 20 meters a minute. So the time that it takes for the operator to program on the machine and then also produce that nest, sometimes it could be as little as 30 seconds, it could be a couple of minutes. So that efficiency then is no, long, it's no longer efficient to do that at the machine. So by taking it offline, you not only sort of streamline what your actual sort of cutting process is, you can say, right, okay, this is the job I need in a particular order. So I can imagine, I guess, is it almost like a standard machine shop that I'm a little bit more familiar with. You get the bottleneck, as soon as your cycle times are reduced down to 30 seconds to a minute to much less than what it takes to program, then um, even if you've only got one laser machine, it would make sense to have a PC in the office running some kind of software so you can handle, you can offload all of that work onto the PC, which makes a lot of sense to me. Thank you, Liam. Yeah. But what about, I guess people will buy, the, there are vendors out there who sell, they'll sell lasers, they'll sell press brakes, they'll sell the whole roster of machinery that a sheet metal shop needs to make money. And they also sell the software. So why wouldn't you go for um, a, a vendor specific software for all the machinery that you already have? Surely they work well in the, eco, the their own ecosystem, so to speak. Yeah, so those vendors will manufacture a, a software very similar to that, that of Radan, and it will work well with that particular machinery. What you tend to find then is when you manufacture a particular machine for a shop floor, say like a laser, a punch press, a press brake, that one vendor may not make the best machine for that particular application which the customer needs. So you can go to vendor A and have a laser, and then you can go to vendor B and have a press brake, and go to vendor C and have a punch press. That means that your shop floor is working as efficiently as you possibly can. And by having Radan as this umbrella software, it means that we can then have a, a larger scope over these machines, and make sure it's working as efficient as possible. Fair enough. Okay, so I guess that makes sense that you'd have Radan to cover all bases, but you can pick, pick and choose the best machinery for the job you need. What, let's move on to the, actually the use of the software now. And I think with the rising material costs, um, you have to nest parts into a sheet and there is something called yield. Now, for people who don't understand a bit like me, what yield actually is, could you just explain what that is, please? Yeah, so traditionally, so people within a sheet metal shop with a profiler will have sheets that are two meters, two and a half meters, three meters long. And, tr and you can see this behind us. And this is what a general sort of sheet metal um, nest will look like. So what people are trying to do now, they're trying to cram as many parts as they can onto that sheet as humanly possible. Now, in software's gone by 10, 15 years ago, say you only got 10, 15 parts on a sheet. Now with the Radon algorithm, we can say, right, we're gonna get 15, 20 parts per sheet. So we're looking typically at a 10% increase on other OEMs and, and other software producers. And that's absolutely huge. I mean, if, if, if you are a machine shop, a sheet metal machine shop manager, and you imagine a 10% increase in part yield versus the, f the same fixed material cost, that could be absolutely huge. Yeah, over the course of the year, so for even a, a small or a medium um, size enterprise, you can find that that's a, a massive sort of saving. That's incredible. And I guess that is, that is an efficiency improvement as a result of adopting Radan on the machine shop floor. But what about the other side? What about the back office where you're quoting things and you're trying to invoice stuff and make sure you're being competitive, but also you're making a decent chunk of money that you as a business can still grow. Yeah, so we, we uh, as we've just spoken about, we can really limit the inefficiency on the shop floor, and, and that's really sort of everyone's first point of focus. By taking a look at the back office then as well, your, your number one inefficiency is where is your skilled working being applied? So your time served engineer, he might be 10, 15, 20 years in, and you'll look across and you can see him doing quotes for four, five, six hours a day, and they might be doing 10 quotes. And this takes a lot of time and it's really efficient and you're all inefficient and you're gonna be losing money very obviously. What we've done by introducing RadQuote 
is saying, right, okay, well, that skilled worker, that skilled engineer, he can then go back out to the shop floor and make sure the physical side of things is working and working correctly. So what we've done then is made Radcro particularly graphic heavy and more for an unskilled or a, a non-engineering type person can then produce quotes very, very quickly and we can get them out the door. So rather than taking an hour, two hours, which a skilled engineer would do, we can say, right, this graphic heavy interface is allowing a non-engineering person to develop that quote and get it out the door in the space of about five, 10 minutes. So it's, sort of, it's not only sort of freeing up a skilled engineer, it's then saying to a, an admin personnel, right, I can get a lot of quotes out in a very short space of time. Okay, and I guess it's, it's, it's about that two-pronged approach that makes sure that a sheet metal shop is working to its, the best of its ability. And if, if someone's listen, listen to this and thinks, well, I've, I'd love uh, a system that handles both in better nesting all my machines and also can handle some quoting as well to help me improve the way I'm, I'm running the shop, who can they get in contact with? Uh, so, yeah, so you go on to hexaginmi.com um, and we can arrange either having a remote demonstration or we can come to site and, and do it in person. And we'll put the details on the screen. Thank you very much, Liam. Thank you.